Here we are looking at a student's quiz history in Red Theory. So this is the quiz history button here. And the same information, if you're in TeacherView, I'm logged in as a student at the moment, would be found under the Progress button. And you would access that button. And somewhere about here on the screen, you would be choosing the student's name to go and look at. You would come to a page with a whole lot of graphs at the top and this chart further down. So what we see here is the progress and the old quizzes are here, the newer quizzes are here and we can see this student's been bouncing around between the levels five a lot, then six, then five, six, five. We often see this pattern but if it continues for too long with no real progress in the direction of six, seven, eight, it probably means that the students haven't found their feedback or they haven't been supported in understanding it. So these are hyperlinks, the blue writing here, and this is where we look at the feedback. So if we choose one where we had a decrease, we know there were some mistakes in that quiz, and we'll find what that looks like. So if they click that, first of all at the top, they see their overall mark. Then here is the passage that they actually read. Now we won't read the whole thing through, but you can see it's a fairly short passage, but a little bit of a complex concept and some unusual words like faucet, which we would say tap in New Zealand. So things that would catch students out. The next thing we see is an ad, and I mention this because we have had one report of an unsuitable ad. The software is free, that's why there's advertising in it. The ad wasn't terrible, it was just underwear. And my understanding is it was reported to us by a parent, we passed it on to the company, they were very polite and respectful and they fixed it. So a good reason to have supervisors involved in children's reading, nothing terrible, but just be aware something might come up. Okay, so where the question has been answered correctly, we just see the green bar indicating the correct answer. Where it has been answered incorrectly, we see a red bar too, which indicates the wrong answer that was given by the student. And here is the feedback. Okay, it tells us which aspect of reading it belongs to, integration of knowledge. Um, there are three main areas of knowledge within this and you'll see them pop up in your feedback from time to time. But I want you to notice that the feedback is actually longer than the story. And that's pretty important in terms of should it be independent, is it designed, this feedback, to be worked through with a teacher or supervisor, and I think it's definitely the second. We need to talk this feedback over with the students. So it, it shows us what the passage was talking about, which answers were correct and incorrect and why. Sometimes it emphasizes some points of vocabulary that were used in the article. And the students who are working through this feedback often with their supervisor and occasionally with their teacher are the ones who are progressing well through the levels. So that's why we're showing you this. So here's another one, a little bit shorter with the feedback this time. But by the time a student has two chunks of feedback that were each as long as or longer than the story, I think that, that adult guidance, whoops, that wasn't there, that adult guidance is what we need. Okay, I hope that helps.